Today we're going to talk about how you can fix this fan from super loud to super silent only using a replacement fan. In this case, a new sun on fan. What do you need for this tutorial? A few skills, a little bit of time and a little bit of money. In terms of tools, soldering iron, screwdriver, wire cutter and scissors. In terms of supplies, silent fan, shrinking tube, soldering lead and cable ties. And if you're interested in the full review of the ADG Mini Decker, check out the video in the description below. Here you see all the tools in an overview, everything I used for this tutorial to change from the normal fan to the silent fan. Well, the silent fan is here the most important part of this tutorial, obviously. It's a Sunon Fan ML 6015-12S2, 12 volt. First step to open up the device is removing the six screws. This way you can open up the top plate and get to the fan. As soon as the top plate is loose, you can look into the device, be aware that you don't touch the LEDs and you need to remove now the four fan screws that hold the fan into place. After all four screws have been removed, you are able to take out the old fan. Be aware of the direction the fan has been installed in. Normally, the label should face outwards to blow the air out of the device. Next step is going to removing the cable ties to make sure everything is loose so you can cut the cable of the old fan. The original cable is pretty long, so make sure you leave a little bit of cable there when you cut it so the new fan still has enough room with the cable so you can install it easily. After cutting both cables, make sure to remove cable isolation so you'll be able to solder the two new cables to the connection of the device. Red goes to red, black goes to black, so it's pretty straightforward. Before soldering the cables together, make sure you add the shrink tube to the cables because otherwise you cannot do that when you already soldered it together. If you're using electrical isolation tape, you don't need to do this up front. You can just solder first and put the electrical isolation tape over it after. The shrink tube is the nicer solution, but whatever you have at hand, both works in any way. After you have done soldering, you can heat the shrink tube to heat it up and to shrink it around the soldered areas. Last but not least, install the fan. Make sure the label is facing outwards so the air is blowing out and the cable goes upright. Install it with the four screws and you're good to go. After the new fan is installed, make sure to zip tie any loose cables. Three zip ties should be enough and make sure they are not bouncing around in the casing or are connected to any moving parts within the device. Finally, I made a quick function test to see if the device works. Make sure you don't touch the device if you turn it on because the case is obviously open. As you hear, the new fan is barely recognizable. Last step, close the device with the six screws from the beginning to close the top plate. Sometimes the screw and the screw holds another line properly, so you need a little bit of force to push everything into place. But then you're done and now your device has a silent fan installed. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.